Hey, what's happening? Jay Vix here, JVI Mobile Marketing. And no doubt by now you have been hearing a ton about chat GPT, AI, copywriting, artificially intelligent uh, images. You've probably seen people using the Lenza app. Artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies are pretty different. But what this chat GPT is doing is incredibly incredibly wild right it's the coolest technology probably and it's and it's a game changer right probably one of the coolest technologies to hit in a long long time so for a while there's been different iterations of this gpt which is basically where uh it's a level it's like a new release of artificial uh intelligent learning and the gpt3 i believe as far as data went up to 2017 and now this gpt4 and and this uh i'm not I'm not an expert on on what it goes up to uh but the chat gpt technology with open ai some people are calling it the google killer and i wanted to take a minute just to show you in real time i don't know what's going to happen i want to uh show you a couple of examples but first i'm going to show you some that i do know what will happen because i've already done it and then i'm going to play with it in real time so this is chat gpt on my screen and what you're seeing here um it the website is chat.openai.com so if you go to openai.com uh, you can find this. It's free to use for now, right? Uh, and it's going to talk to you about some things you can do, uh, explain quantum computing in simple terms, any creative ideas for a 10-year-old's birthday, how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript so it'll help you with code, it'll troubleshoot code, diagnose code, right? It can also remember what the user said earlier in the conversation. So if you said, I am 10 years old, how old am I? We'll try that one. It should say you are 10 years old. Um, you can provide follow-up corrections. And if you say inappropriate things to it, it will decline, right? The only thing you want to be careful of is uh, it facts. Like if you're looking for statistics, it may give you incorrect information. That is one of the biggest limitations. Anything you have written with these AI tools, and there are several out there, anything you have written needs to be edited and proofread, right? So don't go create an article or blog post or write a book littered with incorrect facts, right? And just let AI write you this, this book and then have most of it be wrong. Or it may produce biased content, right? So the last thing you want to do is, is be labeled, um, you know, some, some type of, of negative term, uh, some type of ist right? Because you didn't look over what the machine wrote for you, right? So uh, also uh, anything after 2021, right? So I guess GPT-4 is up to 2021. So er anything after 2021, like if you said, um, who, who won the, you know, the, the elections in November, 2022, it's not going to know. Right. So it only has information up to 2021. So let's play with this. Yesterday I was playing with it and I tried. Um, I said, I asked, what are some, give me some, got any creative ideas for a seven year old's birthday? This is what it said. Here are a few ideas for a seven year old's birthday. Have a themed party, choose the blah, 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 go on a scavenger hunt, have a movie marathon. It tells you what each of them are. Have a craft party, have a sports day. Hope these ideas give you some inspiration for planning fun birthday party for the seven year old in your life. Then I said, write a video script to explain Facebook ads for beginners. Hi, and welcome to our tutorial on Facebook ads for beginners. In this video, we'll be covering the basics of creating and running a successful Facebook ad campaign. And it actually, from a from a high high level 30,000 foot view, it, it got this right. I mean, it doesn't go into the mechanics of it, but it's a real beginning overview of what Facebook ads are and what you can do with them. So that's that's pretty, pretty neat. Um, then I ran into some some issues with it. So the next thing I did is I um, hang on, I'm getting a phone call. Yep, not going to answer that. So the next thing I I did, uh, let's see, I went into um, what is your name, and it said I am an assist. My name is assistant. 
I'm trained by open AI, blah, blah, blah. When is your birthday? She doesn't, or he doesn't, it doesn't have a birthday. Can you tell me who the 15th president was? The 15th president was James Buchanan, who served from 1857 to 1861. He was born here and became a member of this, blah, 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 right? Um, I said, what is in cigarettes? Cigarettes are made from a blend of tobacco, and various other substances. And it also talks about other things that are in it, right? So very interesting stuff. So what I want to do right now is I want to go to a new chat and let's ask chat GPT. Let's say, let's just say hello. Let's see where we go with this. How can I help you today? Um, can you tell me who won the Super Bowl in 1994. The Dallas Cowboys won it on January 30th, 1994. They beat the Bills 30 to 13. It was the Cowboys. Okay. So, so now that's not much different than a Google search, right? So anybody could do a Google search and find out the same information. So let's say, um, what would you suggest for me to get my wife for an or a trip to Tahiti. Any different things you could get. Some ideas might include new swimsuit or beach cover. Tahiti is known for its beautiful beaches and crystal clear waters, beach bag or tote, a stylish. I mean, this is amazing. A book or guidebook about Tahiti, a souvenir or memento from your trip to Tahiti. So it's given me all these ideas to get my wife a gift certificate for spa or massage. I mean, it's just come, it's just continuing to go in real time. This is wild. This is absolutely wild, right? So what you could do with this, if you want to edit and proofread, what I would suggest is you get uh, a list of questions. If you're, if you're a small business owner, right? I would try to find questions that your target audience is asking about your products or services just on Google. You can go look up the Google autocomplete suggestions. Uh, there's plenty of ways to find out. Uh, Answer the public is one. Topic Mojo is one. You can go and you can find out what people are asking search engines. Then once you have those questions, come in here and type those questions in and see what the answers you get are. Edit them, proofread them, rework them. It'll be a great starting point to answer those questions and then utilize that in social media. The one thing I strongly caution against is to take what this says word for word verbatim and not check it and to just copy and paste. This is a great starting point. I'm sure it's going to get better and better over time, but this is the future. So if you're a copywriter or a content creator, uh, do I think that AI is going to come take your job away? No, no, I don't. I think that it's going to push you. You're going to have to get better, right? You're going to have to get really, really creative and get better at it. But I think it's a tool. Remember that this is a tool that you should use to help you in your business, right? Now, think about it this way. If you had to dig a hole, right? If you threw on some gloves and you started using your hands to dig into the dirt, you probably could get a hole dug, right? You probably could do it manually by brute force, just using your hands, you could probably dig a hole. Wouldn't it be easier to use a shovel? right? Look at this as the shovel, right? Look at this to help you do things faster, to get things started quicker. Instead of staring at a blank page, use this as inspiration, right? And utilize this to help you grow your business. If you need more ideas or you're not quite sure how you can use it specifically in your business, reach out to me, comment, tell me, email me, and uh, I'm happy Happy to have a one-to-one -one chat with you and give you some great ideas to how you can use AI and the GPT technology in your business for your marketing. Take care, everybody.